It was at half past two on Monday afternoon when the bin lorry began to career out of control and it was around about where we're standing just now where that began to happen as it made its way up the street to George Square, which is, of course, a very famous landmark in Glasgow as a civic centre. Now, you'll see behind me here a sea of flowers that have been laid for people to remember those six lives that were lost on Monday afternoon and also to remember those who were injured this afternoon. Four people are still in hospital, a 14-year-old girl and the 57-year-old bin lorry driver both still in hospital this afternoon, they're in a stable condition. But around a thousand people, police estimate, came here at half past two to pause to remember. They stopped in silence and they remembered those lives that were taken so tragically, so unexpectedly. A city that's still trying to come to terms with what happened so out of, out of the ordinary, something that could, as many people have said to me today, could have happened to any of them. Now, organisers have been speaking to some of the people who came here today. There have been people who have known some of the people who were lost in the incident, many people who just happened to be here when the lorry crashed. Now, the people paused, they paused for silence, and then there was a spontaneous round of applause after the two and a half minutes as people thanked the city for coming together as a community. This is a city that suffered this time last year when the helicopter tragically crashed into the Clutha Vaults bar, not far from here at all in the city, and 10 lives were lost then when that helicopter crashed through the roof of the Clutha. David McCallum, the organiser here today, he put together a Facebook page and thousands of people joined it in the aftermath of Monday's tragedy. So many of them came along here today to, to share, to support each other. You'll see that there are candles here still burning brightly, many of them lit today for the families for the, and to remember those who lost their lives. Fresh flowers still being laid, the crowd still not entirely dispersed. But what was fascinating to watch this afternoon was as the crowd slowly began to disperse, after the two minute silence, there was hardly a word spoken. People walked away with their heads bowed. This is a city that's still in mourning this afternoon.